Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the reactions of phenol. This includes bromination for OCR and NXL students, as well as nitration for OCR students only. You should then be able to explain why phenol reacts more readily than benzene. And finally, OCR students should be able to describe how phenol is a weak acid. OK, now phenol has a hydroxyl group directly bonded to the benzene ring. I'm showing you phenol and two phenol-based molecules here. These are 2-nitrophenol and 2,4,6-tribromophenol. I'm showing you here phenylmethanol. Phenylmethanol is not based on phenol. That's because the hydroxyl group is not directly bonded to the benzene ring. So this is actually an alcohol molecule with a benzene substituent. OK, now as we saw with benzene, Phenol also reacts with electrophiles. However, phenol reacts more readily with electrophiles than we see with benzene. In phenol, a lone pair of electrons in a p orbital on the oxygen atom is donated into the delocalized electron structure of the benzene ring. This increases the electron density in the benzene ring. And because of this increased electron density, there's a greater attraction between the benzene ring and electrophiles. And this means that phenol reacts more readily with electrophiles than benzene. I'm showing you here the bromination of phenol. Phenol reacts readily with bromine water at room temperature. And remember that bromine water is an aqueous solution of bromine. In this reaction, we form a white precipitate of 2,4,6-tribromophenol. At the same time, the bromine water decolorizes, going from orange to colorless. Now, due to the increased electron density of the benzene ring in phenol, the phenol molecule can induce a dipole in a molecule of bromine. So unlike with benzene, bromination of phenol does not require a halogen carrier catalyst. I'm showing you here the nitration of phenol. To nitrate phenol, we use dilute nitric acid at room temperature, and we make a mixture of 2-nitrophenol and 4-nitrophenol. Now, in a previous video, we looked at the nitration of benzene. Nitrating benzene requires a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid at 50 degrees Celsius. So, as you can see, nitrating phenol requires much milder conditions. And again, that's due to the increased electron density in the benzene ring of phenol. OK, we're going to finish now by looking at the acidity of phenol. Compared to alcohols such as ethanol, Phenol is less soluble in water, and that's due to the benzene ring, which is non-polar. However, when dissolved in water, phenol is a weak acid. That's because a proportion of the phenol molecules reversibly dissociate. Now, phenol is more acidic than alcohols such as ethanol, but less acidic than carboxylic acids. Alcohols such as ethanol are extremely weak acids. They will not react with either a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide, or a weak base, such as sodium carbonate. Carboxylic acids are strong enough acids to react with both sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate. Now, phenol will react with solutions of a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide. However, phenol is not a strong enough acid to react with sodium carbonate. So we can use sodium carbonate to test between phenol and a carboxylic acid. A carboxylic acid will react with sodium carbonate, releasing carbon dioxide gas. However, phenol will not react with sodium carbonate. So as we've seen, phenol will react with solutions of a strong base. I'm showing you here the neutralization reaction between phenol and sodium hydroxide solution. In this reaction, we make sodium phenoxide and water. And I'd recommend that you learn this reaction. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the reactions of phenol. 